What's going on? You're now listening to On Air with the Joe. I'm B. Joe Johnson, and also today we have a brand new co-host who will be with us every week. Caitlin, tell us a little bit about yourself. What's up, y'all? I'm Caitlin, Caitlin Douglas, a.k.a. K. for some of y'all who don't know me. Um, I'm a master major, I'm a sophomore, and Joe invited me on the show, so let's see how everything goes. We're going to have a lot of fun having Caitlin here. She's a great uh, she's a great addition to the show. She's also an SAD and SBA as well, correct? I'm just an SBA, but just an SBA. I do attend the SAD. That's what it is. She's very involved in campus, so she's a great person to have in the studio with us. We're going to talk a little bit about the Drake album that officially dropped today, which is September 24th. She told us all to just wait on it, but everybody seemed to have got the album last week. We're going to give our side of what we feel like happened with it, and I'm going to tell you a little bit what Drake told Billboard.com. So, coming up for you first, we're going to listen to Club Can't Handle Me by Flo Rida. You're listening to On Air with the Joe. I'm B. Joe Johnson, hanging out with Caitlin today. Hey. She's, she's our new member on On Air with the Joe, 91.7 The Demon. Today is September 24th, a much-awaited day. Guess what happened today? Drake's album officially dropped today, but everybody seemed to have the tracks last week. Caitlin, your thoughts? I feel like people were talking about this when he came out with the spicy, and he hit that little verse about... I'm coming out with my OVO, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> it already leaked. I had friends. Shout out to G- at D. Kyla Marie for uh, telling yeah. me about that. Yeah. Matter of fact, Kyla was the one that told me that it actually yeah. had leaked. So then I went on. So I, I use this app called A-Tracks. A-Tracks.com is a wonderful app if anybody ever wants to get off of Pandora because it always plays the same 12 songs every time you <laughs> open the app. I got on the A-Tracks, searched for Nothing Was The Same, and I had all 16 tracks. Which I looked on uh, Billboard.com today. The album got great reviews. They said that Drake really came into his own on this on this album. And if you haven't got, have you heard it yet? I haven't heard any of the tracks yet, but I have heard nothing but great things about it. And you know, I kind of felt like later into his career, he was already like leaning towards leaving Young Money. You know right, I mean? right. So I'm really happy for him. I am as well because I, I've been listening to Drake since 2009. I love his music. I love how he's, he's progressed through his albums, and every album, if you haven't got a chance to hear, there's a track on there called Tuscan Leather, and Tuscan Leather is kind of like the sequel to, uh, it's, it's kind of like the sequel to Hyper from the previous album on Take Care, and he really he really tells a story through each track. But coming up next, we're going to listen to Turn Me On, uh, Nicki Minaj, and David Gus. You're listening to On Air with the Joe. We got no new friends here. Actually, we do have a new friend. We have a brand new co-host with us. We've got Kaylin hanging out with us. For those of you who don't know, she goes by Kay sometimes. We're just hanging out. We was uh, just in the studio talking about this new iOS 7 update. Lord. Um, <laughs> man, what can I tell you guys? It makes me recontemplate life. I was sitting in the car on the way here. My phone rings. It's the first time I've heard my phone ring since I updated it. Um when it wasn't on vibrate, I didn't even know it was my phone. They done changed my default ringtone. That's why you should be seeing Windows or die. Uh-uh. It makes you feel that. I can't, I, the reason I can't do Windows is because Windows, everything always freezes. No, see, I'm going to have to freeze you because you're not going to do my phone like that. <laughs> Windows is not free. First of all, every iPhone looks the same. It's a, it's a little thinner. Oh, it doesn't iPhone. look the same anymore. Mm-hmm. Nothing, about, <laughs> nothing about this iPhone <laughs> looks like an iPhone whatsoever. They've gone to this whole, it's, everything's all flat. My iPhone used to be 3D almost. Everything is all flat now. They've got the, yeah, everything's 2D. The, the, the text is tiny. I, I don't like it at all. But I'm not going to change from an iPhone because I've been an iPhone user for as long as I can remember. So what else would I use? But that, <laughs> that's what's been going on inside of my phone's life. Um, we were talking about uh, um, Nothing Was The Same dropped today. September 24th, the album was coming. Just wait on it is what Drake told us. Unfortunately, at least last week. How do you think that affected the sales uh, as far as how many people actually went out and purchased it today? See, I don't think it really is going to affect it because me personally, I've been a Drake fan since he was Jimmy on the grand <laughs> seat. <laughs> so, I'm oh, Drake or die. I'm team, hashtag team Drake or die, okay? You can quote me on that. I just, I feel like if, if anything, it helped boost his sales up because people are anticipating it and it's like they got a little preview. Now I want the real thing. Right, right. 
See, I feel like I feel like when you can, when you can get all of a CD um, off of a leak, I feel like you you aren't really respecting the yeah. artist or the music if you go and take it from the leak. I'm gonna go ahead and say I did listen to the whole CD <laughs> from the leak, but I probably will purchase I probably will purchase the album just because I, I feel for Drake because he he put so hard and did such a good job promoting it. He even had Donnie Manziel yeah. uh, tweet and post a picture about mm-hmm. saying that he can't wait to to get the album. He had pre-ordered it. Future has pre. Ordered. He had a lot of guys really pushing for it. I think I even saw Floyd Mayweather uh, wearing a, a September 24th mm-hmm. promo shirt for the album before his fight, the recent one. So I, I really feel like he did such a great job promoting it that he doesn't deserve to lose out yeah. because of the league. And then it depends on the artist too. Just like Jay Z, I could not, I, I don't like Jay Z, but that album just goes so hard yeah. and I had to buy the album. Unfortunately, I bought it from Walmart and it's messed up. Oh. But I still, I still had to go ahead and buy that album. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. I guess I guess for for Drake, he probably won't lose out, but we really won't be able to tell until next week. And I'm sure we can talk about it next week, where they'll they'll come out. Billboard.com will actually come out with the sales stats and stuff. Yeah, and then I just wanted to go ahead and give a quick shout out to SCA Student Government Association. We're having a coffee break Wednesday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the Student Union Lobby. So go by and get some free coffee, free orange juice, free donuts, whatever. Yeah, that. for all you people that go to class, eat the sleepy eyes. You probably need to stop by there and get some mm-hmm. coffee. Today is a, it's actually um it's Cancer Awareness Week, isn't it? Yeah, UTS United to Fight. Uh, we're having a uh, change. Night tonight. Yeah. So tonight. that's from four to eight. And if you go ten percent of your proceeds go to St. Well, you definitely need to do that because I'm sure everybody out there that um has cancer really is feeling some type of way. So we're gonna go ahead and take a <laughs> listen to type of way right now. You're listening to On Air with the Joe on ninety one point seven the Beaver. What's going on? You've been hanging out with On Air with the Joe. I'm D. Joe Johnson. Added our new co-host today. My new co-host is wonderful. Had a great time with her in the studio today. Yes. yes. <laughs> Well, uh, that's pretty much going to do it for us today. Uh, we talked a lot about the Drake album, so if you get a chance, go out, get it. Actually, buy it. Don't go get the leak like we were talking about. Actually, go out and buy it. I think it's like twelve ninety nine on iTunes right now. Please support him. He did a really great job promoting that album. It just didn't pan out the way that he wanted. <laughs> So that's all that uh, I have. The video of the actual in the studio live show of this will be on djoejohnson.com. So you can check that out. Follow me on Instagram at djoejohnson. Follow me on Instagram at underscore djoejohnson. Taboo. Watch the Saturday song. And you can check me out on Twitter at it's djoejohnson. Hit me up on YouTube, youtube.com slash it's djoejohnson. And you can check her out on Twitter as well. What's your Twitter handle? Uh, you don't do Twitter. Uh, she's too cool for Twitter. But I'm not too cool for Twitter because I like following. Well, that's going to do it for On Air with the Joe. We're going to leave you with Shirt Thing by Miguel. Thank you for hanging out with us. Be sure to watch the video of today's broadcast. We also have last week's broadcast on djoejohnson.com. But here's Shirt Thing.